My beloved love, so often, once those who have the gift of illumination learn to really harness these abilities to transmute shadow into light, they actually begin to learn how to transmute energy, thought, vision into physical reality. They are very powerful transmutators or manifestors, however you really want to define that. So, it's almost like they experience both the highs and lows of the human experience, both the depths of the shadow and the radiance and brilliance of the light, and everything that they touch or perceive also carries much more vividness. To those who have this gift, in fact, from some perspective, you could say that those who have the gift of illumination are perceiving everything, emotions, the world, everything that they are sensing, picking up through their physical senses or through their emotions, which we could also call a physical sense. Anything that they are perceiving is being perceived with so much vividness. This also might cause people around them to feel as though sometimes they overreact to the negatives or overreact to the positives. This is because those with this gift are simply experiencing everything, the depths and the heights, to a greater degree. But over time, as you get a handle on this process of transmuting energy, you truly have the power of alchemy. And when we talk about being an alchemist, it's really about being able to transmute those shadow aspects into light, which renders you a very powerful manifester. Now again, this comes with both light and dark aspects, so to speak. And if you've connected with this video so far, it's very likely that you yourself have experienced both some of the darker and the lighter aspects of this. But I do want to talk about these five signs that you have the gift of illumination. Besides what we've talked about with the usual origins of this gift, these signs are actually more centered around the way in which other people might react to you or interact with you. The first sign that you have the gift of illumination is that you will find others will share deeply intimate or personal details about their life, particularly details pertaining to the shadow within them or the shadow that they experience. The word confess or like coming clean is coming out here. But that's just because other people will want to show to you their shadows. It's like they will want you to know those depths within themselves, their own pain, their own hardship. And this will even happen at times with people who are complete strangers. For this reason, very often those who have this gift find themselves absorbing or taking on a lot of the pain of other people. And this part of being someone who is spiritually maturing with the gift of illumination, part of getting a handle on this gift, and a very essential part of it, is learning to be able to set those energetic boundaries with others. Because of the way in which many other people will subconsciously recognize when they interact with you that you are able to transmute shadow into light, now of course, this usually isn't happening at the conscious level for them. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe. 